In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is a great way to burn body fat for fuel instead of burning you know, calories from food for fuel. It's also free. People save money by fasting through one meal a day. It's a way to turn some of the fat on your body into money in your pocket. When you're fasting, you keep insulin levels low, so that's a great way to regain some insulin sensitivity if you're insulin resistant. Another thing I love about it is that my work productivity is through the roof. You know, when I'm not snacking on things, I get more done. This is the simplest version of intermittent fasting. It's called the 4412. The 4412 involves eating three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Between meals, there's absolutely no snacking. That's the fasting. You have your breakfast, and then you wait four hours or longer until lunch. During this period, you can drink water, but no snacking. You're effectively cutting out all the calories that you normally eat during this period between breakfast and lunch when you snack on something. You repeat the same thing after lunch and the same thing after dinner again. Cutting all the calories from empty snacks and you're saving all the money you would have spent on those snacks. When you eat, prioritize protein, fiber, and healthy fat. Satiating foods make the fasting periods much easier. Two other very popular schedules are the 16 and eight or the 18 and six. They basically work the same way. After dinner, you begin your fast. You fast through breakfast the following day, and then you go into an eating window. That eating window could be eight hours on the 16 and eight, or if you're on the 18 and six, it would be six hours. During these eating windows, you can eat freely. But before the eating window, you're fasting between dinner and lunch. This 16 or 18 hours of fasting gives you a really nice stretch when you can be burning body fat for fuel. What I personally do is a modified 18 and six where I have my dinner and then I fast for about 18 hours, skipping breakfast, and then I have my lunch, and then I go back to another mini fast between lunch and dinner and start fasting again. I found myself constantly eating way too many calories in those six or eight hour windows, and so by going back to a fast between lunch and dinner, I was able to cut out a lot of extra calories. Another popular one is called OMAD or one meal a day. It literally is one meal a day. You eat, then you fast for 20 to 24 hours, and then you eat again and fast for 20 to 24 hours, and then eat again tomorrow, one meal a day. By far, the most common mistake I see when people are intermittent fasting is they overeat when it comes to having their meal. Remember that when you fast through breakfast, you're not starving, you're actually having your own body fat for breakfast. So when it comes to having lunch, you're not eating breakfast and lunch in this lunch, you're just eating a regular normal lunch. And then at dinner, you're having a regular normal dinner. If your body burns 2,000 calories and you're getting 1,500 of those from food, then your body can get the other 500 from fat while you're fasting, right? But if your body burns 2,000 calories and you're fasting through the morning, so you're getting that body fat in the morning, but then when it comes to lunch and dinner, you eat 3,000 calories, this is not a winning equation. You're going to put on weight because you're eating more than you're burning. 